first step is about removing part of pot from the bodywork, such as the rear bumper or the wheel arches, so as to have an easy access to the engine. All the liquids are going out. The engine peripherals are removed, exhaust, oil tank, drive shaft, in the system, looms and wiring, and so on. Once all this is done, then a break for the team, the night is going to be long. Everybody is back at work, let's carry on. Once the engine is free, the last step consists in removing the different brackets. The back of the car is lifted up and the engine taken out together with the gearbox. The gearbox is quickly taken apart. Straight after, the damage engine is opened to confirm what has been diagnosed with the data acquisition system of the car as the reason of the problem. At the same time, at the back of the garage, the brand new engine is equipped with its loom, manifold plenum, alternator, turbo, throttle bodies, etc. It's quite a long process to go through and to be really careful with. As the engine is fitted on a subframe, it has to be prepared before with the oil pipe as you can see. When ready, the gearbox is fitted to the engine and the assembly refitted to the car. All the peripherals mentioned before are installed step by step. Despite of the tiredness of the guy, it is extremely important to keep concentrated to fit, position and tighten everything perfectly. are then introduced into the engine, the water system and the gearbox. The car is quickly fired up, data checked to be sure that everything is fine. It's 4.30 in the morning, the sun begins to rise and it's time for the team to have some sleep. At 7.30 in the morning, everybody's back in the garage, warm up at 10 o'clock. Last check with the car, put them on the flat patch for a bit of setup, and it's time to go on track. 